Today for language, we will be doing page 40. First of all, we are gonna look at capitalization rules. Some of these rules we've been learning since the very beginning of the year. So eyes on my chart, stop playing with your pencil. All right, capitalize the first, first word, word of every, every sentence. sentence. We've known that since the very first week of school, correct? All right, then the next one you need to do is this one. We, you guys should have learned this one on Friday, correct? The days of the week and the months of the year, but not the seasons. All right? So I like to say it days of the week, months of the year, but not the seasons. Like that. To help you remember. All right? We also learned last week, I think it was on Thursday, that you capitalize proper nouns. Where should your eyes be? On the chart. On the chart. That is why I'm holding the chart up, so everybody would look at the chart and learn these rules. All right, so a proper noun. What is a proper noun? Adam? Um, it's talking about like what, Adam? Thing, because if, if you just say principal, what principal? But no, I want you to give me the rule. No, don't explain it to me. You're explaining to me really well. You're right, but I want the rule. A specific person? Okay, not specific, it's specific. Or you could say a particular. A specific or a particular person, place, or thing. Okay? We're going to say particular. Okay? So what is a proper noun? A, a particular, particular person, person, place, or thing. As opposed to a common noun, which could be any person, place, or thing. All right? And Adam was explaining that really well, but I want you guys to remember it by the rule, okay? So you're not having to talk about principle. Because okay. it could cover anything. It could cover a store or anything like that, okay? So, please put your pencils down and say the rules with me so you're learning the rules. So, what is a common noun? Um, Any person, place, or thing. thing. And what is a proper noun? A particular person, place, or thing. thing. And so, it needs to be capitalized. Right? And then, well, there's one more. Oh, I'm new one. Third day. I thought you guys learned this already. No, it's keep new for today. Holidays and special days. Okay, holidays and special days. So we always capitalize holidays and special days. And I don't know why they have them out of order on the chart. It makes it so difficult. All right, so if you look at the board, I have put some holidays and special days on the board. All right, so what's the first one? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving which is coming up soon. So what do we need to do to it? Capitalize it. Day, right? If it said Christmas Eve, you would capitalize Christmas and Eve. If it said Christmas Day, you would capitalize Christmas and Day. Both. Because they were still talking about a special day or holiday. What's this one? Friday. Does anyone know when Friday is? Even the 4th of July? No, the 4th of July is not Friday. That's Independence Day. Or the 4th of July. And you want to say what you like? July 12th? No, no more guessing. You either know it or you don't know it. Is it in August? No, it's in June. It's actually June 14th, and there is one reason particularly why I can remember it. It's because it's my sister-in-law's birthday. Her birthday is actually on Flag Day. So Flag Day, and notice you capitalize. Flag. And you capitalize. Day. And you sit up and pay attention. <coughs> Right? Capitalize both words. And then this one, this is just a special day. Pioneer what is this day. Day? It's a um, pioneer, pioneer day. Did we get pioneer day off from school? Yeah. No. So it's just a day <coughs> that is celebrated. I don't even know when this one is at all. But it's a special day. Okay? So they call it pioneer day. <coughs> and what would you do? Capitalize pioneer. Capitalize pioneer. And pioneer day. There's one special day that actually is Three words. Blade? No. No. Blade. Mm. I'll give you a hint. Look, it's January 1st. Uh, oh. No, wait, no. January 1st. Grace? New Year's Day. New Year's Day. So if it was New Year's Day, you'd have to capitalize New, New and Year's, Year's and Day. Day. All three words. Okay? Now I'm going to give you some 
words, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to common, common, because that's just any. In fact, we can do this, okay? Just shake it in, shake it back and forth like this, and then it's common. Or we're going to go burr, okay? So common, just shake it in, back and forth, and then that's common. Or burr, okay? So everyone stand up. That's your seat. Stand your seat. It's just a bug, ladybug. Pickles. Now you gotta name the brand of pickles for it to be like Clawson. Clawson pickles. Okay, common, proper. Pickles, pickles, and that's common. Pickles, pickles. All right. <laughs> October. All right. Salmon. Oh wait. No. It's a type of fish. No, you get. No. You it's gotta a fish. No. It doesn't work that way. It's just common fish, salmon. Salmon is just a common fish. The only time animals are capitalized is if it's named after a country. Ooh. Okay? Like a German shepherd. You capitalize German, but you don't capitalize shepherd. Okay? You're getting a little bit too, too, um, saying it's a specific type of dog. No, don't do that. Okay? The only time you capitalize animals is if it's named after a person or after a country. Because there are some animals that are named after people. Because that person discovered them or found them first. Like the right? fowler's toad. Yes, like the fowler's toad. Remember the fowler's toad when we read about him? The fowler's yeah. was capitalized, but was toad capitalized? Mm -hmm. No. All right. Northridge Christian School. Pizza. My. Mod, but not pizza. Mod pizza. What about ruler? Common. Umbrella. Ew, just common. Gotta be a brand of umbrella, and I don't even know any brands for umbrellas. Cat. Common, good job. Sunday. Orange juice. You gotta name the brand. Did I say a brand of orange juice? Orange, orange, orange juice, juice is just common. Don't say, well, it's a particular kind of juice. No, that's not the point. That's not what it means by common or proper. Minute Maid orange juice. Then you have to capitalize Minute Maid, but you still won't capitalize orange juice. All right? Mountains. You have to name those mountains. Mount Rocky Mountains. Yes, Mount Everest would be capitalized. Rocky Mountains would be capitalized. All right, what about November? Amy, that's a girl's name. Clock, all right, trail. You gotta name that trail, right? Tuesday, T, and Josh. All right, very good. All right, let's do your paper together. to skip that first section because that's going to take you the longest. Let's go to Think B first. <coughs> Everybody going to Think B first and you are going to use pre free marks to mark which letters should be capitalized. Let's read the sentence together. This, this fall, fall we have cleaning our, our church, church every Saturday and Wednesday. So what's the first thing that needs to be capitalized? This. Yes. yes, because it is a beginning of the sentence. The three little lines of the disc. What's next? Oh, oh, no. The no. rule is, somebody just said fall, stop. The rule is days of the week, months of the year, but not the seasons. Fall is a season. Not the seasons. So not fall. What is the next one? Saturday. So those of you that said Saturday, three little lines under Saturday. 
It's up, child. We already read that sentence. So you should be reading that sentence and finding the word we said capitalize. What did we say to capitalize? The what? The we are still on sentence one. You need to pay attention and stop thinking. So what did we say <coughs> to capitalize besides the word yes? month of the year. Do you see a day of the week or a month of the year in that sentence? Thank you. We've already said Saturday. But you're daydreaming. You need to stop daydreaming, please. All right, what else besides Saturday? Wednesday. Wednesday. So put three little lines under Wednesday also. Let's read the next sentence, please. And what? Wednesday. Yeah, well, we say it fast. It comes out Wednesday. Wednesday was how I really pronounced it so you could spell it right. Let's read the next one. My birthday is in October, and my sister's birthday is in August. What's the first thing we need to capitalize? My. Because it's the beginning of the sentence. What is next? October. Because days of the week, months of the year, but not What's next? Everyone, what's next? Thank you, August. Because days of the week, months of the year, but not the season. All right, now read the next sentence with me. Last summer, I went to camp for a week. Last. Last, because it's a first word in the sentence. Last is first. Right? First word in the sentence. Anything else? Summer. the word I, which we haven't got to that rule yet. That's why they capitalized it for you. But eventually, we will get to the word I. All right. Days of the week. Week is not a day of the week. It is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Those are the days of the week. You should have gone over those on Friday with her. Then she go over the days of the week with you on the chart. Okay. All right. Next sentence. Read it with me. We plan to visit my grandparents this Christmas. We, because it's the beginning of the sentence, and Christmas, because it's a, today's rule, special day or holiday. All right, and Thanksgiving Day is always the fourth Thursday in November. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. Both Thanksgiving and Day need to be capitalized, because it's a special day or holiday. Well, let's just begin with sentence here. What else? November, true, but you skipped one. Thursday. Thursday is the day of the week. November is the month of the year. Thursday and November. All right, now at the top, you're going to put some proper nouns. They've given you a common noun, like your name. I want you to put your first and last name. If you want, you can put your first, middle, and last name. But if you don't know your middle name, I'm not going to look it up. First and last name must be there, not just your first name. Then you're going to put the name of your church. Then the month only that you were born. I don't need to know your whole birthday, just the month. Okay? Then your favorite holiday, and then the name of your town. Okay? And we will talk about what your town is in a minute. At the bottom, you're going to write an interrogative sentence about your favorite holiday. But listen, I don't want you to all be boring and say, my favorite holiday is Christmas. Then I've got 21 sentences that say, my favorite holiday is Christmas, or my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, or my favorite holiday is Easter. You're going to pick your favorite holiday in your brain, and then you're going to say what you do at that time. Like, Easter is when Christ rose from the grave. Now, do I want you copying my sentence? No. Yeah. Or, on Easter, I go to my grandmother's for lunch. All right, so you're telling me what you do at the holiday. Do not say my favorite holiday is. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. 
you write a sentence that includes your favorite holiday. Then you write an exclamatory sentence about your favorite season of the year. And do you capitalize the season? No. And are you going to say, my favorite season is? No. No, you're going to write a sentence that just happens to have your favorite season in it, but you're getting excited about something that happens during that season. Whether it's the flowers of the spring, that you, that's why spring is your favorite, but you're not going to tell me it's your favorite. I don't need the words, this is my favorite holiday. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You just need to pick your favorite season and write an exclamatory sentence about your favorite season. Okay? Something that makes you excited about that season without even using the word favorite. Got it? Yeah. Same thing on the holiday sentence, except that one was interrogative. So you're not telling me about it. You're asking me a question, aren't you? I just realized that. For number one at the bottom, you are writing an interrogative sentence about your favorite holiday. So that means you're asking a question about your favorite holiday. So are you going to use the word favorite holiday? No. no. You're going to ask a question. If Christmas is your favorite holiday, then ask a question about Christmas. If Thanksgiving is your favorite holiday, then ask a question about Thanksgiving. Got it? All right, you may begin.